Hello guys, this is Sushant. So welcome to our channel that is Sai Engineers. For over a month, we have been helping you in your MHCT preparation for your mathematics section. So we'll be discussing in this videos what are the things you should do, what are the things you should not do during the exams, before the exams, and some tips for time management. The timing for the exam is given to you that the exam paper will be starting at 10 a.m. sharp and will be ending at 11.30 which is for your mathematics. Then after a break you will be starting with your paper that is your PC that is physics and chemistry will be starting at 12.30 and it will be ending at 2.00. And later on it will be the biology paper which will be held. So even if the timing which is given to you is 10, you have to reach before that. The gates for the examination hall will be opened at 9.15. So you have to reach well before that. The reason for this timing is because at 9.40 they will be giving you your OMR sheets which are the sheets on which you have to give your answers. On these sheets, there is details to be filled up like your roll number, etc. You can go and check the OMR sheet which was provided in the mock test. The link is given in the description below, so you can just go there. After giving you your OMR sheet at 9.50, they will be giving you your, your booklet, that is your question paper. You are not allowed to open the question paper only it will be allowed at 10 o'clock on the booklet there is some information about the question booklet version and also what is the serial number so those things has to be filled up in your omr sheet which will be given on the question paper or the booklet which is given to you so after that then only you will be able to open your paper at 10 o'clock for your physics and chemistry exam the same procedure is followed you will be allowed to enter at 12 then at 12 10 you will be given your omr sheet at 12 20 the booklet will be given and you will be starting your exam at sharp 12 30. so you have to be available at the examination hall at 12 so that you will be able to follow this procedure properly. You have to give the stipulated amount of time for filling up the OMR sheet because it should be done with precision. You are not allowed to use any whitener in that case. So please be careful while filling up those information which is very crucial in nature. We have understood what are the timings. Let us try to understand what are the things you should do and what are the things we should not do. Now let us see the things which you should carry during your examination. You should carry your black ballpoint pen for your examination. Please at least keep two. These two should be used by you only. Please don't uh, lend it to your friends. For them you can have an extra. Then just for in case, just in case you can have your pencils and erasers along with you. And the main important thing is you should carry your admit card. Without your admit card, you will be not able to attend your exam. So that is very important. Please do check whenever you have to go for your examination. Please keep everything ready prior to your examination. If you are having any medication, then that should be also carried along with you. Now, what are the things you cannot carry? You cannot carry your log books. Log books will be provided in the question paper itself at the end of it. This one is an optional, like the writing pad. You can carry it in the back, but it would be dip mostly it is not allowed at the center, but just in case, just keep it in the back. The writing pad should be a transparent one. There shouldn't be anything written on it. So if you, if it is possible, do carry the writing pad, but it will be dependent on the center, whether they are allowing or not allowing. Mostly it is not allowed. Now during your examination, that is an obvious thing. You should not carry your mobile phones and also the smart watches, which have been in the market lately. If there is checking, which is being done, then in that case, you will have to waste your time in removing those things and putting it in, in the bag. Now these are the things which you should carry and should not carry. The other thing is you have to reach your examination center at least 45 minutes to one hour. 
please don't reach 15 minutes before the exam because you have to do these things like filling up the OMR sheet then writing the booklet number and everything which will require time so please don't reach 5 minutes before that also please fill your details properly on the OMR sheet please be very careful and please feel free to ask the invigilator about any doubts you might have during filling up the information please listen to the instructions which are being given and you should remember that there is no overwriting which is allowed while filling up any of the information now before the examination day you can go and visit the center so that you will be able to understand where the location of the center is and also you can verify whether your number is present in that place or not so please if possible if not you personally if there is some relative who is staying nearby please tell them to go and visit at least to check the number whether your number seat number is present in that location or not so those are the things which you should do now let us go and check what are the things you should do during your examination like the time management thing now if i want to discuss about the mathematics paper as you know you have to answer 50 questions which will be fetching you 100 marks and you just have 90 minutes along with you so on an average we'll be having 1 minute 48 seconds to answer one question now that does not mean that you have to give 1 minute 48 seconds for every question it might be case like you will be able to solve some of the question in 6 30 seconds itself some of the questions might require a two and a half minute also and so on so on an average you should look out for that your average time is going to be only 1 minute 48 seconds only so if it is going beyond this time then that should be an indication that you have to stop solving that particular question so it is advisable from my end that you should not give more than two and a half minute for any question while solving it if you are going beyond that please leave that question there itself and you can come back to it now while you are going through your paper you will be coming across three types of questions the three types of questions will be basically the first type will be wherein you will be able to solve it in 30 seconds like it will require only some minor tricks which we had discussed or some of your own tricks which you have so you can apply those tricks and you will be able to solve the particular question in 30 seconds itself there will be some questions wherein you know that you will be able to solve it and you will be requiring something around this time slot so you have to ensure that you are not taking more than two and a half minute or basically two and a half minute is really a higher threshold it should be within two minutes you have to solve it so the third type of questions are those in which you don't know at all anything about it or you can have a guesswork over there so that particular question you can leave at that particular moment so don't waste time on that just go on the next one so in the paper while solving any paper like even if you take maths or pc that is your physics and chemistry also should always be on a move every time you should not stay on a particular question for more than the stipulated amount of time more than if you are spending more than average amount of time which is given for one question then at the end it is going to be a mess for you one thing which i would like to advise is you have to scan through your 50 questions like scanning means most of the questions you are able to solve you have marked those questions properly those things should be done in one hour itself so within one hour you should be able to scan all the 50 questions given to you and answer most of them so at least 30 to 35 questions should be done within your first one hour and you are also scanned your 50 questions now in the remaining amount of time what is required is give 20 minutes to solve the second type of questions which you might have left so in this 20 minutes you can just go through the questions which are left behind you are not able to solve at that time but you will be requiring some time to solve it so you can go and go back and check for that particular thing and also you can give some thought on these type of questions also so these type of questions wherein you will be not knowing that particular chapter or you are not 
you know cer certain things about the chapter but not wholly so you can apply some tricks on that which will help you in reducing the amount of wrong options so you can just eliminate the wrong options and then select the right one according to your probability so those things should be done in the 20 minutes which is remaining and in the last 5 to 10 minutes you have to ensure make it a 10 minute only you have to ensure that all the bubbles are filled up properly or not because if the bubbles are not properly filled then that particular question would not be rated it will not be given any marks for that particular question give this much amount of stipulated time to check each and every question whether the answer is marked or not in this particular time slot you will be marking also those questions which are left like you have to just do the guesswork and you are not able to eliminate any of the options which are provided so make it a point that you answer all the 50 questions regardless of whether you know it or don't know it now while solving the particular question while marking it what you can do one thing is instead of marking the whole bubble or coloring the whole bubble what you can do is you can just have a dot inside it so that you know that you are sure about that particular question so when you're coming back to it like when you're coming back to it in the last 10, 10 minutes which is remaining you can just fill it up in the required amount of time so you won't be taking much amount of time but if you are doing it for every question then you will be requiring more than 10 minutes for that so please accordingly you have to adjust the time for that particular thing now again I would like to reiterate myself while filling up the bubble please ensure that you are filling up the whole section and not leaving any white spots between it and also please do not allow any of the filling to be outside the circle and please do not cut it no use of whitener is possible and no two answers should be marked if you are answering two options then that would be considered as no answer at all so you won't be given any marks for that particular thing now one more thing which i forgot to tell you before beginning of any of your paper please do go through the instruction which are given on the booklet it will be helpful for you now while attempting the questions you can have a marking scheme for them like if you have done with the question like if you are done with the question one you can just tick it out so that you don't have to come back to it because you have already answered that particular question now let us say consider the second question the second question you were not able to answer at that particular instant but you know how to solve it so what you can do is you can have a marking like you can have a square box on it so that you will be able to come back to that question and solve it in this particular time slot that is your 20 minutes time slot so this bo boxing up or circling it something or the other notation should be there so that you can come back to it now in the questions wherein you have to bluff for that question then in that case you can have some other marking like in the question 3 you don't know at all anything about that particular topic so you can have a circle on it so that you can come back to it and then you can just if possible eliminate the wrong options if not possible at all then have a mere guess now coming to your physics and chemistry you have 100 questions to solve which will fetch you 100 marks and you still have 90 minutes to solve that particular question paper so that means you have half the amount of time that is your average time will be only 54 seconds for one question that means that whenever you are solving any particular question you should not exceed more than 50 seconds or one minute for any particular question so you have to be that much faster while reading the question also and also while attempting that particular question now if you're going for one particular question beyond one minute and one minute 15 seconds or one minute 15 seconds then it in that case you can have the marking scheme which we have discussed you can mark it like a square or a circle depending on what notation you are following and you can come back to that particular question in the last 20 or 30 minutes which you are sparing for it so now depending on what is your strong point if you are saying that your physics is stronger than chemistry then please do allot a bit more time for your physics than chemistry depending on what is your strength whether it's going to be physics or chemistry you should allot accordingly that much amount of time so you will be spending about one hour 
to scan through the 100 questions that means you can spend about 40 minutes on physics and the remaining 20 to 25 minutes on chemistry so in that also in the remaining half hour you can distribute in the same manner you can allot the 20 minutes in which you will be solving the unsolved questions and also the questions wherein you can have a little bit guesswork in that case and in the last 5 to 10 minutes you can just mark the so you can just properly mark the bubbles so these are some of the points which i feel you should do while your examination if you feel that something has been missing please do share it in the comment section so that it is also helpful for others and also if you have your own suggestions you can share it with us so all the best for your examination it, it was really nice teaching you all one thing i would like to remind you guys that after your mhct exam we'll be taking up various engineering stream we'll be discussing on what the streams are related to and what is the future prospect of that particular stream so after your mhct result we'll be also discussing how to fill up the cap round forms and what are the things which are essential while filling up that particular form also after that we have videos for your first year and second year engineering so please do subscribe to our channel if you're new to the channel please do share our videos please do like and please do comment i would like to thank all of you guys who have been commenting us who have been encouraging and suggesting what are the things which we can do thank you guys for suggesting the time management video i hope i have clarified most of the points which are required so till then keep learning keep watching and happy learning bye